we have one and a half days to go before the deadline, the hard deadline for not only declaring your taxes, doing your tax returns here in the UK and actually paying for them. So not only do you have to have it declared, you actually have to actually pay for the taxes too. So this year in particular, the government of the United Kingdom is being very, 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 very stringent, very strict with the taxis because they really need the money. The country is running out of money. A lot of our local councils are effectively bankrupt. So they're chasing people really, really hard. If you've got taxes that you haven't paid from last year, you already know about it. So it's kind of serious. And I find that cryptocurrencies, they're particularly going after this year because that's one of the areas that they've earmarked to really harness the taxes from because they've identified it as an area where a lot of people are not paying taxes, either they're evading taxes, avoiding taxes, or outright just refusing to pay taxes, right? So the government is having a lot more scrutiny in that area. If you have a side hustle as well, eBay, selling on Amazon, doing all these sort of retail and drop shipping stuff, all of those companies, as well as the centralized exchanges are sending all that data to the British government. And they've hired a whole bunch of people at HMRC to sift through all that information I'm quite sure that they also use AI as some sort of computer program to flag people with significant discrepancies or maybe even small discrepancies. And of course, they're going to be going after such people and probably, you know, bringing the hammer down pretty hard to even get even more money out of people. Now, personally, I've always used software. If you're in a bit of a tickle and you don't know how to get your taxes out in time, then I've left a link for the tax software that I use. It's 100% free as long as you don't need it to do anything for you. So basically you go in there, you can track all your transactions. It tells you whether or not you need to pay tax to harness losses, etc. It's got all that information in there. Um, if you need to produce documents that you're going to hand in to the government, then you have to pay for one of the tiers. For most people, the lowest tier is usually the one that they need. I use the lowest tier this year because it's been a bear market. So I had almost next to no transactions. In the bull market, I usually use the middle tier because I have a lot of transactions, if you know what I mean, because I do some degen trading, etc. Now, the thing with it is you can actually use it to see if or not you have to pay taxes. If you do, you can then go to an accountant and get them to do the taxes for you, or you can just get the software to print the required documentation. Not financial advice, not tax advice, but what I usually do is even if I don't make as much gains as the allowance in terms of capital gains, I still put in the tax returns anyway, just to show the government that I have, you know, maybe lost money or whatever. Maybe I'm able to offset that against something else. You know, if you make gains with your actual real estate or something, or you have a painting that's appreciated and you sold, you can offset that against the losses in crypto, etc. Now, again, not financial advice, no tax advice, no legal advice not nothing just pointing out that you know there's software out there that can help you especially now that it's the last minute so you're interested in that check out the link in the description it's an affiliate link so if you buy one of those tiers they might send me a little bit of commission otherwise i don't get anything so it's free stuff do what you want with it if you know what i mean that's it i'll see you in the next video peace